Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I thought I'd take just a minute. I've had several people ask me recently what kind of climbing method do I use for saddle hunting. So uh, I thought I would just take a minute and uh, make a little short video and just, just demonstrate how I climb. I'm going to say this is the cheapest, uh, lightest uh, climbing method that you could get for saddle hunting. Everything that I hunt with is in this pack. My saddle's in here, my climbing method's in here, and my uh, platform's in here. But uh, I'm just going to demonstrate for you real quick what I, what I use. So um, I purchased this... Uh, some kind of climbing rated uh, webbing. I'm not exactly sure. It didn't have a name brand. It wasn't in, in any packaging. I found this at Dirt Cheap in our local Dirt Cheap store. Uh, but I've been using this, this particular uh, strap here for two years. Uh, I'm not a very big person. It's held up really well for me. You, you could probably use uh, something a lot more climbing rated. So uh, don't just take my word for it. I'm kind of taking matters into my own hands, but I'm comfortable with this. Uh, you could take another tree tether and do basically what I'm doing, uh, but I'll show you pretty much how this goes. Uh, and I'm going to just go ahead and get this around the tree, get the rest of the, the stuff out, and show you what I do. and get my saddle on. saddle pretty much the saddle this happens to be a tethered saddle this will work with all the saddles that are out there they're all pretty much set up basically the same with some minor differences so what I did was I went on Amazon and I ordered uh, the cheapest climbinator that I could find I think it was like $17.99 or something like that I got a climbing rated carabiner in it I just clip it into one of these loops in this webbing. I take my tree tether and put it up about as high as I can reach. I'll set this backpack out. I'm not going to be using my platform, so I'm just going to set that aside. And I go ahead and clip in to my bridge. Now, this is, uh, does take a little bit of physical effort, maybe a little bit more than if you were using climbing sticks or uh, maybe, uh, I would say this is kind of similar to the one sticking method, but uh, slightly different, obviously, because there's no stick for one. But anyway, just get into your aider and start climbing up and you just get up. point and you just move everything up your weight is supported by the by the saddle you don't put your knees against the tree or if you need more stability you can hug the tree with your legs like this move your aether your aether aether maybe when somebody needs to invent something called an aether maybe that's what I'll call this the tree aether anyway it's just a replicated process. Move your your aider up.
just take your uh, your hands. This doesn't take a whole lot of support, but just sort of keep your hand along the edges of the tree, and it'll keep you stable. And you can go as high as you want to go up this tree using this method. Super simple, super lightweight, super compact. And once you get used to doing it, it really doesn't take that much effort. No. What seems like can be a bit of a disadvantage is let's say there's a there's a limb coming off of this tree right here. You say, well, what do I do about that? Well, you can do a couple of you can do this a couple of different ways. You can either just totally undo this strap, bring it back around the tree, or uh, I carry in my little side pouch another strap that's identical and I can bring it up put it put it up above where the limb would be unhook my carabiner bring it up and then I can take this one off and just repeat that process coming back down the tree I didn't bring my backpack up with me but typically when I get ready to install my uh, my platform, I'll get up just a little higher than where I want my platform to be. I got my foot in the stirrup here, so it gives me some extra stability. I usually install my platform right along in here. Then, as well, let's say, let's say if I install my platform right in here, then I got my aider, my final step. I can step up and onto my platform, just like that. So, I'll show you kind of what the process is like on the descent, it's just reverse. And when I'm coming down, I usually just stick with one, one stirrup on my aider. I'm just gonna stay at about this distance. I'm just gonna keep working that distance down the tree. down is super easy. I know a lot of folks are one sticking and repelling. I think for what this does to me is just as easy as repelling. You don't have to carry you know 50 or 40 foot of rope to do it. That's the climbing method I use. I think it's really simple, extremely lightweight, and uh, you know you can you can take this anywhere, long hikes deep into the woods, or right out of your backyard. It doesn't make any difference, and it all fits really compactly into this backpack platform climbing method saddle, tethers, I got grunt calls and I got some different hooks and straps for when I get up the tree. Uh, I mean I even have even have my uh, camera arm, camera arm in here. I mean, everything I hunt with is, is all packed up in that one in that one pack. So thank y'all for watching. Uh, maybe this climbing uh, method will give you some ideas on some simple ways that you can climb. Maybe something very similar to this. Again, uh, to be on the really safe side, you'd probably you could just go with another tree tether. This right here would work just as well. You could just clip that right into your your uh, climbing.
laminator if you wanted to. You just basically you could take most most uh, tree saddles uh, come or you typically buy a lineman's belt with it. You can just convert your lineman's belt into your <laughs> to repeat the word I made up just a little bit ago. Your either uh, to make you a, a climinator to get you up and down the tree. Hey, thank y'all for watching. Man, I hope y'all have a great deer season this year. I'm getting really excited. It's right around the corner. Until next time, we out.